We're gonna feed 25,000. It's about five pounds or seven pounds of uh, ladyfish and giant squid. I don't know if the wells will come over. As usual, we will call him over. We'll see if he takes anything. Didn't even come over. We had several visitors today, so they got their share of pellets already. Tonight is only it's only fish and squid. Man, those are a pine are they're already so thick and they're eating and eating and eating. Amazing. I really would like the sturgeon to come over and eat. They, they usually eat well, but it may take a while to come over. What is it? Three days ago, Wells took a big piece of mullet, so he's, he doesn't eat as much as one thing he would. Here comes one sturgeon. That koi is pretty ambitious trying to tackle it. One third of a one and a half foot ladyfish. There you go, good job, honey. Ladyfish is a small game predator, salt water. We caught it here on the beach. It belongs to the tarpon or herring, kind of like a herring, but tarp. It's similar, more similar to tarpon. It does not grow more than two feet, I think, maybe two and a half at most. What we catch usually is just a foot and a half by cast netting. What? You don't want anything? That's fine. Suit yourself. There comes the other sturgeon. Right in front of you, sweetie. Go ahead. There you go. Good job. This one seems to be full. Doesn't want anything. At least it doesn't look like it. But when it goes to the bottom, it will still. It may still gulp something down. Who knows? Last time the biggest sturgeon picked out on the squid ate quite a few large pieces, so maybe he's taking a break now. Leary eye. I think it's full too, judging you can tell by her stomach, by his stomach. I don't know if that is he or she or her or, or he. You can barely see her black fish on black liner. Okay, right in front of you. Once again, I'm still chewing.
Phoenix Barb is playing with a piece of squid. Parapima came over, took the tail. She's gonna work on swallowing it now, hopefully. Looks like she has some room in her stomach. In its stomach. I don't know why I gender fish sometimes. I say he or she. Often without any good reason. The giant Siamese carp, you see that large bite on him? That's Wells. He's done that. I'm gonna have to take him out, both of them, and put him in a small tank. They're languishing here anyway. I met a I met a peer from uh, Cambodia who has a huge lake, and he's got quite a few giant Mekong cat catfish and giant Siamese carp in there. He tells me that giant Siamese carp should reach one meter or three, in excess of three feet in, in the first year. And ours are approaching 10 year old and they're, they're still foot and a half. So they're not getting, they're getting out competed in this tank. They're not getting enough to eat. So I have to take them out anyway. Not to mention that Arapima are growing and they can eat them sooner or later. They're kind of a, the giant semi's carp, they're kind of a primitive, not smart, not a smart fish. My seers are doing the best job staying away from wells. Koi do too, but sometimes koi get beaten also. And then the giant semi's carp get beaten most often, it seems. They just cannot learn to stay away from wells. They're too primitive for that. I'm gonna take it. Go ahead. Come on. See, he's thinking about it. He took squid before. He smelled it and said, uh, I don't feel like it. Talking about Mr. Wells, of course. There's the other giant Siamese carp. This one is smaller. Still. I'll time I took that piece of squid. There's still a big head over there laying around. The koi is working on it. And there's another piece of squid under the pole. Oh, Mr. Wells tried to get something from from in between the liner pop, liner uh, folds. Well, anyhow, this is our first. Uh, no, this is second. Today is January fourth. So last time I fed him was January first, 2024. So this is the second feeding of the new year. That orange koi is pretty ambitious, working on the <laughs> on the ladyfish head. And ghost, the platinum organ koi got a huge piece of uh, not huge but very large piece of uh, squid in his mouth. He will not be able to swallow it or chew it up. It's nearly impossible to chew up squid. Come on, sweetie, come on, what in front of you? There you go, excellent. Beluga. Yeah, he's gonna spit it out, I'm pretty sure. You can't handle that. Looks like a huge tongue sticking out of his mouth. It's like a foot long or longer piece of squid. 
that I throw in for the larger fish. It doesn't always pan out like that. Okay, so we're pretty much done. More or less. One thing I have to always keep in mind is that they can take a piece of fish or squid, go behind the pumps and behind the pipes and try to eat it there and if they cannot they may spit it out and it will lay, it'll be laying there rotting. Once in a while I have to go inside and take a look behind there just to make sure there's nothing, nothing rotting in those rocks that are holding down the pumps. There's 10 pumps, or at least 7 pumps and 10 pipes. The pumps pump up the water to the aqueduct that goes to the filter, to the shower tower filter. The beaten Siamese. Okay, there's one little piece left. Somebody will pick it up. I think we should be all set for now. Yeah, you're so greedy, Ghost. His nickname is Ghost. The Platinum Ogon Koi. He's one of the greediest, if not the greediest Koi we have among all of them. As I said, squid, of course, is like uh, like octopus or squid. They their consistency is that their meat is real. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's soft, but at the same time, it's tough. It's, it's hard to cut even with a with a knife. But I think it digests well. They have no problem digesting it if they can get it into their stomach. They digest it okay. Again, koi almost have no stomach, so they would have a little problem. They will not swallow it unless they can chew it up. They need to mash and puree their food before they swallow it. Because the food goes pretty soon, very quickly into the intestine. Their stomach is the side of their eye, which is tiny, so there is, there is almost no pre-digestion no breakdown of the of the food so they have to break it down physically they have two hard plates in their throat to mash it up real good and then swallow again I don't think they can do it to the squid unless they take a few hours to do that in a way squid has a consistency of a sneaker so I'm gonna say my goodbyes for the third time and this time mean it.